Attention viewer. The emergency alerts shown in this video are simulated and fictional. This scenario takes place in 1945, when an emergency broadcast system did not exist. The alerts shown in this video are a simulation of what they would look like if such a system had existed at the time. The creator of this video is fully aware that the emergency broadcast system was not introduced until 1963. Please avoid leaving negative comments about this information. Thank you for understanding. When World War II broke out in Europe, America's scientific community was racing to catch up to German breakthroughs in atomic power research. In the early 1940s, the United States government authorized a top-secret nuclear testing and development program known as the Manhattan Project. Its purpose was to create the world's first atomic bomb. At 5.30 a.m. on July 16, 1945, when the bomb was finally detonated atop a steel tower, an intense light flash and a quick surge of heat were followed by a huge boom of sound that echoed throughout the valley. A ball of fire erupted into the sky, encircled by a massive mushroom cloud reaching 40,000 feet across. The bomb, which had the equivalent of about 21,000 tons of TNT, utterly destroyed the steel tower on which it was resting. Three years earlier, in 1942, Edward Teller, the researcher who subsequently devised the far more powerful hydrogen bomb, delivered a lecture in which he discovered that an atomic explosion would produce temperatures hotter than the sun, potentially creating conditions favorable for nuclear fusion reactions. He said that it had the potential to directly ignite the atmosphere, killing everything that depended on it. A classified analysis commissioned by the Manhattan Project in Los Alamos, New Mexico, determined that this was almost impossible. This is the emergency broadcast system. This message has been transmitted across all radio and television stations in regard to an event in New Mexico that could pose a threat for the western states or even the entire country. There has been a massive explosion located near the U.S. Air Force Base near Alamogordo, larger than any explosion recorded in history. This is not an attack against the United States. Repeat, this is not an attack against the United States. This explosion was caused by a test of a new weapon developed by the United States military. However, an unexpected event has occurred, resulting in the transmission of this message. The explosion produced temperatures hotter than the sun, resulting in a chain reaction of nuclear fusion in the atmosphere. This has essentially lit the atmosphere on fire, resulting in total loss of life in a growing radius around the explosion. All persons within a 500-mile radius of the blast site need to get indoors now with all windows and other entrances blocked. If possible, move underground. This will give you the highest chance of survival. Gather supplies such as food and water to survive on during this emergency. Keep your radio with you and stay tuned for further information. Please cooperate fully with the instructions within this message to ensure your safety during this emergency. Updates will be brought... The previous transmission of the emergency broadcast system has been interrupted to transmit a nationwide message. Please listen closely. The fusion chain reaction has spread further than previously anticipated and now poses a national threat. It is unknown how far this reaction will spread at this time, but calculations have hypothesized that it may not stop and affect the entire globe. The reaction occurring in the atmosphere is similar to a spreading wildfire with no means of stopping it. Once the reaction reaches your location, outdoor temperatures will reach higher than ever previously recorded. Most flammable structures will be set ablaze, 
and some may disintegrate instantaneously. Seek refuge in a VF, a shelter, such as a building made out of stone or other inflammable material. If it is possible to move underground, do so now. Before entering your shelter, gather supplies necessary for survival such as non-perishable food, clean water, medical supplies, additional clothing, and a portable radio with power supplies. If available, use gas masks to avoid breathing harmful substances in the air. If you are outdoors during this event, you will face certain death. Do not panic as this will endanger those around you. You may have more or less time to prepare and gather supplies depending where you are in the country. Residents in more eastern areas will have more time than those in more western areas. It is unknown how long this event will last. It is recommended to stay in the most interior part of your shelter, keeping as far away as possible from any windows or other entrances. This alert is not a test. If you are outdoors, you will face certain... The President of the United States has activated an emergency override on all radio stations and systems to transmit a message. Massive damage has occurred to radio systems nationwide, and therefore this message will be transmitted with very low power, and may not reach all areas of the country. For those receiving this message, a statement from the President will be read on air shortly. Since very low power is being used to transmit this message, the president is not able to directly speak on the air, and instead the message will be read via speech synthesis. Please stand by while systems prepare to transmit the message. America, I never thought that such a breakthrough for our nation would end up like this. I hate to say this, but this is the end. America. The atmosphere has been set ablaze. If you are hearing this message, which I believe that not many are, I'm sorry. Spend your last moments with whoever you are with. I probably don't have much time left, so just know that I loved you all. We will all go out in a burning inferno. Soon, we will see each other in heaven and live the rest of eternity in God's palace. By the most sliver chance, we will perish together. We can all be thankful that this never happened, but we need to realize the importance of the Trinity Test and the introduction of nuclear weapons. Since the Trinity Test was the first successful atomic bomb detonation, it marked the beginning of the atomic age in which mankind had harnessed the devastating power of nuclear fission. The successful testing and use of nuclear weapons forever changed the nature of combat. It established the idea of total war, in which entire towns may be annihilated in a single strike. This transformed nations' strategic calculation, resulting in the Cold War arms race between the United States and the Soviet Union. As a result of this competition, nuclear arsenals proliferated, giving rise to the concept of mutually assured destruction. Nuclear weapons are credited with preventing major disputes between nuclear armed powers. Large-scale wars have been deterred by the fear of catastrophic outcomes. While nuclear weapons may have deterred major conflicts, they also heightened global tensions and led to numerous proxy wars during the Cold War era. The world lived under the constant threat of nuclear annihilation. The Manhattan Project, which includes the Trinity Test, was the pinnacle of scientific success in the development of nuclear weapons. Many of the scientists involved eventually campaigned for nuclear technologies, peaceful applications, and weapons control. In summary, the Trinity test and the subsequent use of nuclear weapons had profound and lasting effects on global politics, warfare, and ethics. 
While they brought World War II to a swift conclusion, they also ushered in an era of nuclear weapons proliferation and complex geopolitical dynamics that continue to shape international relations today.